Hey everybody, just want to take a quick minute. I came down to the local park. I've been seeing a lot of people post uh, pictures with the directional finding equipment. And I thought maybe I'd just throw this out there now. I, I like the directional finding equipment. It's very handy, especially if you're out in the field and you're trying to figure out which way somebody's coming from. Uh, maybe you're out hiking with some friends and stuff. You want to do some search and rescue. Maybe something happened to them and you're just trying to find out where they're located. Uh, maybe they're incapacitated, can't talk much, maybe they're just triggering a mic or something like that. Anyways, whatever your reason for needing direction finding, I just wanted to show you a quick alternative. Now, the one way to do it is with directional antennas. It's a 2 meter Yagi for 2 meter. It's a directional beam. What you do is you come out of your Yagi antenna into something like this. This is an RF attenuator. And what it does is you can start adding dB of rejection. So if it's a super strong signal, you can hit 20 dB of rejection add another 20 dB, add another 20, add 10, and so on. And basically that helps you, you know, so you come here, into here, into your radio. And what that does is helps you get really close to that signal if you're struggling to find it. As you get closer, it'll take that signal down. So let's say you're out in the field with just a handheld. So I want to show you a trick I learned uh, as a young ham and uh, this is something one of my elmers taught me. And uh, we do direction fox hunting all the time. And uh, what, they, what that is is they take a small, low-powered transmitter, they hide it somewhere in the city, and then uh, you know, a bunch of the guys in the club will go out and uh, spend a Saturday t looking for it, you know, just for, just for the knowledge. And uh, somebody taught me this because I didn't have any of the equipment. So they, they showed me this trick, and it actually worked, and <laughs> I've been blown away ever since. So, uh, let me just show you real quick. Right now I'm tuned to one of my local national weather services. Uh, I'm not using the one that's for my area. This is uh, a community further away, uh, mainly because of the signal strength. So what I'm going to do is turn it up where you can hear it. Now if I hold it up in the air like this, I get a really good signal for the most part. But now if I wanted to find out which direction that's coming from, I'm going to take that radio and put it, the antenna right up against my body. And I'm going to turn, turn like this. So I'm picking up that direction, nothing that direction. So that tells me that signal's coming from behind me. So let's turn. I'm gonna, if it doesn't pick up that time, I'm going to slowly pull the antenna away from my body just a little bit. So I know, for the most part, it's coming that direction towards the sun. Now, let me come to one of my, an even closer National Weather Service channel. This is on 162.55. So this one's pretty much full scale, what I call full scale, full signal, any way I turn. Even if I throw this against my body now, I'm still getting the, the signal. So what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start just loosening this antenna off of here. Now I'm going to try it. I don't have it all the way off. It's just barely, barely on there. So now I'm just going to play with it a little bit. I might turn it. So right now, I'm oh, there it is. So this is a different signal, and right now it's coming from this direction. As I get, as I keep getting closer to these stations, and as I move, now I've got a line. I'm going to draw a line on, my, on a map showing which direction I'm looking. And as I triangulate, I'll move now to another location. And the idea is getting closer to that signal. As I get closer, I'm going to take the antenna off and it'll be so strong you can do the same thing. One time I did go fox hunting, I, when I got real close, I would take my thumb and put over the top and do the same thing. So basically, I'm just saying you have a built-in attenuator right on your body, using your body, use that body to go and find those signals, uh, something simple. Now, is it quicker and easier? I don't know, I was one of the very first few that uh, found that fox that day. Beginner's luck, maybe, but uh, just so you know, if you're not hauling all that equipment around and you need to find a direction pretty easy, just use your body there. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, share. Thank y'all.